Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And this is part three of the all-new Big Base Bus. And as you can see, I have done a little bit more work on this. Uh, after last episode, I tried loading up the save file, and this thing disappeared. And then it broke the game. And then it crashed. And it broke the game again. And it crashed. And it broke the game again. So, uh, I have to leave it planted for now. So I... Uh, needless to say, my old, the last backup I had was before I redid the wheels, before I redid all the power, before I even built this thing. Uh, this, I figured out what was causing the problems, why the second half wasn't lifting up. It's not that it was sticking anywhere, it's not that I couldn't lift it. Uh, what it was is one of my conveyor connectors was actually binding somewhere down below or somewhere here, something. So now we do have a full block gap around here. We do have a full block gap around here. Uh, I put a 12 of them around here and three of them up here and just to eliminate any dead zones. There is the occasional little spot where it doesn't connect, but it's doing a little bit better. Like if I really wanted to, I could probably swap that out, put another T section there, get even another conveyor connector in there. But this is pretty expensive as it is, and these auto saves are getting terrible. Uh, another thing I did too is I was having trouble with the miner, and that was because I had the the air blades lifting up the miner itself so it was actually basically creating a top uh, this because of the leverage is actually lighter than the rest of this and that's why I was lifting this up so I put the air blades here to lift the arm up so in that way this always hangs down and so we don't have to worry about having issues actually getting it into the ground uh, so we haven't actually tested that yet. Uh, as you can see, I got everything else all set up, ready to go. Uh, the sun's just about to go down, so I'm going to take a quick nap, bring the sun up, and then we'll take this for another quick drive around, and then we'll see if this thing actually works, and then go from there. But yes, as, it, as you see it right now, we will be able to keep it, because I do have it saved. So I'll be right back. Okay, it is morning, and it is raining, of course. Hang on. Okay, that's better. I wouldn't mind the rain if it wasn't so uh, persistent. I could guarantee it every morning it rains twice. Anyways, uh, let me um, let's get this out of the way for one. So we're not driving on that. Uh, I'm not going to take that apart, but we might just get it out of the way for now. What we could actually do, and this is something I was talking about with the back side here, is maybe we'll actually try to land it on there. Because that's what it is there for. Probably could have made the platform a little bit bigger. But let's see if I can sneak this thing in. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. Oh, almost. A tight fitting glove. One of those one size fits all when you have really big hands. Alright. So that is good. Now I gotta see if I can get to the power on this thing. There we go. Not that it matters because it's solar powered. There's the claw. All right, let's unplant this thing. Uh, I'm not worried about doing a save now because everything is saved. Okay, first the wheels. Okay. And then this one. And I was having trouble putting these wheels on again. It almost seems like you have to do one at a time. Uh, it wasn't 100%, but I, definitely the more times I do it, the faster it gets. Let's just hope this is the last time I have to put all 24 of these wheels on. Alright, so now, now for the jack. It's like dropping a house on top of you. <laughs> So far, so good. It's not airborne yet. That's doing its own thing. Alright, let's go for a drive. And yes, I made sure to hook up the doors this time. And I, in case I didn't mention that last video, I did actually repaint this from the green back to the, the gray. Alright, we'll turn that on and let us roll. We got everything all set up to torque and whatnot. So it moves. That's definitely good, considering the fact it's 250 tons. You gotta admit that's pretty good. I think it's 250 tons. Where's the? Where's my center of mass? That's not it. Uh, 
somewhere around here. No, that's not it. It's going to be upstairs. There it is. I think this is it. There it is right there. 245 tons, which isn't bad. It's a moderate size for me anyways. Okay, so now the question is this. Did I turn those wheels off? Okay, no I didn't. See, now this is, as I said before, this is where I have to make sure I turn my wheels off, my drive off, because I'm using the same controls to control this thing as I am driving. So I don't want to be driving around while I'm trying to lower this thing down. down. Anyway, go ahead and fire that up. And this should actually work now. Aha. Again, that zoom could be out a little more. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. That's going to be a bit of an issue. We'll have to deal with that at some point in time, but the question is, is this actually going to work? I have no idea. I just realized trying to get this thing back on a cradle is going to be a bit of a pain. No, I don't want to mine the foundation plate, or a base foundation. Yeah, it's got a learning curve on this. You gotta give me a break though. This is the first time I actually tried doing something like this. Oh, that's not right. Let's see if we can stand this thing up. Come on. I'm going the wrong way. Probably should have made a base for this thing. And it's uh, got a mind of its own. Yeah. When is anything I do ever easy? Just too much bounce in the air mechanics or the aerodynamics. Stand it up. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is not easy. And watching that rotor bend all over the place because it doesn't like going this way. Okay. Let's actually leave it there and see if it's actually registering anything. I highly doubt it, but I have seen people use this idea before where they have miners that attach to the bottom of the craft. Oh, look at that. It's actually mining. Nice. So then if I lift it up, then it probably won't read anything. Never really explored how the, the miners work. Let's lift it up off the ground and go have another look. And it probably will say absolutely nothing. Dirt. Hey, we're getting dirt out of the air. Awesome. Okay. So let's see if we can drop this down somewhere else. See what I'm trying to do. As you can see, I'm using the air blades to actually control this, but the con control scheme is not the greatest. <laughs> uh, I didn't think about that. I probably should have locked that in place, but that's why we have auto saves. So let's just drop that down and go have another look. I was going to try to get an idea of like this setup with the water pumps, but I could see that being a problem because of the fact that the water pumps 
Hey, look at that. We're mining. We're not even touching the ground. Because the, the water pumps will stop working if they actually touch the ground. So, you know, it almost have to be something you like have legs dropping down sort of like the miner here so you have one or two blocks space underneath it but there we go it actually worked i want to see if uh i just want to make sure everything's still connected inside and it's just drop it off dropped off in a random location in a random setup so hopefully we can see some random ores in our miner see and the miner did not make it through. So now the question is, where is the disconnection? It's probably going to be up here somewhere. Let's go outside. I think I know where it might be. I think it might be that top one right there. Yes, because you can see it's pulled it out. So that'll be an easy fix, really. All I have to do is... I would actually have to rebuild it, put a T-section there, I guess. Not much else I can do. But yeah, uh, there we go. We have the big base bus with a remote control mining rig. This is still connected too, isn't it? No, it's not. That's the problem with these rotors is they, they pull themselves apart. So you get that slight gap. It does, looks okay here. But you come down here and you'll probably see that it's been pulled a little bit. But either way, that's going to be it for this episode and this project. It's been, I don't know how many hours I put into this thing already. Probably, uh, including the rebuilds, probably 8 to 10 hours now. But we have a very interesting proof of concept. We have a very, very, very interesting big base bus. So with that being said, I th oh, almost died there. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.